Last night's Kim Holland report on a new kind of foreclosure scheme going on in Albuquerque saved at least one person today from becoming a victim. And Kim reports it increased the pressure on the guy who police believe is pulling this scam. He just told me where Angela Avila was looking forward to moving into a rental house in this northwest Albuquerque neighborhood. How much money have you paid this man? Two fifty. And you were supposed to pay him more money today? Yes, four hundred. Um, four hundred more? Yes. And you didn't because why? Because after I seen it on the news last night, I decided to come down and do the report and I knew I was getting scammed. Avila saw our report last night. Three women say Ernest Garcia, who also goes by Ricardo Lombardi, tried to rent homes to them. A half dozen people we know of say they gave Garcia hundreds of dollars for rent or a deposit. Hope Garcia even moved into a home for two months. The problem? The homes were foreclosed and Ernest Garcia didn't even own them. The back door was wide open, so we looked at it and it was kicked like he had been kicking the door in to show the house. They're money. Evil. Police almost nabbed Garcia last week. He's accused of showing up and trying to rent a home Justin Ledoux owns. He took off running down Manal and they kind of put chase for a little bit, got some license plate numbers. Ledoux called police. And it happened right up here on Manal and 12th Street. And Angela Avila also got police involved when she filed a police report today. I'm just so upset with him and I hope, I just hope somebody does something about it because he's hurting a lot of families out there. Albuquerque police say they plan to contact all the people we've heard from to build their case, and the district attorney's office says it plans to look into it on Monday. Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. Some of the people who claim Ernest Garcia scammed them say they were first attracted by flyers posted at laundromats advertising homes for rent.